Welcome. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what I have here is y equals 4 times x plus 1 squared plus 36. And what we're asked to do is find the x-intercepts as well as the vertex. So I wrote the standard form of vertex form as well as what the vertex equals. And you can see that this equation is in vertex form. So to be able to identify the vertex is fairly simple. What I'll need to do in this case, uh, in this case, I can see that it's x opposite of h. So here I have x plus 1, so the opposite of 1 is going to be negative 1. So I'll just write vertex is negative 1, and then k, which would be 36. All right, now the next thing I need to do is find the x-intercepts, or we're going to be where the graph is going to cross the x-axis. Therefore, where the graph crosses the x-axis, my y value, or my output value, is going to be equal to 0. Um, if you think about it, Let's say you have a quadratic here. You know, here's your x, here's your y. Where this, two, where this graph crosses, my y value is equal to 0. So I'm going to substitute in a 0 in for y and now solve. So I'm going to solve applying the square root method, which is pretty much using my inverse operations and then taking the square root to undo the squaring of x plus 1. But first, I have to use my inverse operations using the reverse order of operations. So the first thing I'm going to undo to, um, from my x is I'm going to subtract to 36 on both sides. So I have a negative 36 equals 4 times x plus 1 squared. Now I divide by 4. Therefore, I get negative 9 equals x plus 1 squared. Now I need to take the square root. So I take the square root of both sides. And remember, whenever we introduce the square root, we have to make sure we include the positive or the negative. And we also have a problem here because we're taking the square root of a negative number. Now, if you, haven't caught, if you haven't talked about complex or imaginary numbers, this would be no solutions, meaning the parabola would look something like this, meaning it doesn't cross the x-intercept. However, once you've, uh, once you've expanded on complex numbers, we can simplify this to plus or minus 3i. As a square root of negative 1, we represent as i. Therefore, equals x plus 1. Then I can subtract 1. So therefore, my two solutions are x equals negative 1 plus or minus 3i. So there would be your two solutions. We could also write them as negative 1, x equals negative 1 plus 3i, and x equals negative 1 minus 3i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you uh, find the vertex as well as uh, the solutions to your, the solutions as well as uh, your vertex actually when there is no solutions. Thanks.